welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking you through how the hell to install an alter ego voice bank. Subscribe. If you've not heard of alter ego, it is a VST. Oh my god, it's just so much fun, like seriously. And it's free. It's it's free. It's free and fun, which are the two Fs that I, I like. Alter Ego is a VST by Plogue, and it essentially uses their tech to create a singing voice. <coughs> you can download different voice banks that are based on characters. You can type into the VST whatever you want to say, and it will play it through your MIDI. It's one of those VSTs that I have had for years, and I truly, I truly still haven't found a purpose for it. Like there is no, there is no song that I've put together that I've thought, <laughs> I know what this needs. However, I hold out hope that one day that will happen and I will have just the VST for the job. However, before I did that, I struggled, like I struggled to find a decent tutorial of how on earth to install the voice banks. I found one that really helped me, but it wasn't the most accessible because it wasn't in English and it had no subtitles. I was getting my way around it because the YouTuber was doing it on a Windows computer as well. So it's just like, I think I have a folder that looks kind of like that thing. and. Google Translate for folder names. Anyway, we got there, but I thought this has to change. So here we go. Here's a tutorial if you're looking for one of how on earth to install <laughs> the voice banks for Alter Ego by Plogue. First, you want to start by going to Plogue's website, downloads, scroll down at the bottom and you find Alter Ego, then select the right version for your system. Open the installer and work through it. Open Alter Ego. Now click Download Voices. Select the voice bank that you'd like. I'm going to download Marie Ork. An important message while we wait. Extract the folder and you'll find that these files are what is inside. Now move your cursor over to the Go tab of your Finder toolbar, hold down Option and you'll find Library will appear. Open the Downloads folder in a new tab within your Finder by holding down Command and clicking on it. Now you want to go to Audio, Presets, and then move across your Marie folder into this folder here. When you open up Alter Ego once more, this pop up will appear. Just select Yes. And now drag your XML file onto Alter Ego. You can close this. Open up your DAW. And then when you open Alter Ego as a software instrument within your Logic project, you'll find that in the preset dropdown, there's Marie Ork and all of her various versions. 